Hadil, are you there? You can unmute yourself, Hadil. She's unmuted. I don't know. Do you hear me now? I'm Hadil. here. Yes, yes, we I'm can here. hear you. Can you present? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Hadil Al Amin from Sudan. My presentation is cover of five titanium dioxide nanocomposite photo anode for disensitized solar cells. Naked? This is my content production, motivation, objective, material, and method analysis of the result and an application in disensitized solar cells. Yes, next belief. In order to limit the environmental hazards, overcrowding, economic and pollution, renewable energy resource appears to be one of the most efficient and effective solutions. The use of renewable energy can be considered as a drying step and the one solution to the energy sh shortage to consider clean and non populating resource. Among all the renewable energy technology techniques, the technology of the solar cell device have had the highest attention in the recent year because of the bias to buy development of technology. There is three generation of the uh, first generation. There is uh, three generation of a solar cell. The first generation show in the left side from the slide uh, called crystalline silicon. Um, this, the main advantage of this type of a solar cell is high power compensation efficiency approximately around uh, 20, but the drawback uh, in this uh, is high cost and uh, conversation, high cost and complicated manufacturing. The second generation is steam film, and uh, this uh, steam film developed to reduce high cost uh, fabrication and a need for resource material, which can be reduced uh, thickness to several micrometers compared with the first generation. The third Type uh, called emerging photovoltaic technologies, as shown in this slide, and uh, there is uh, a lot of research done here. Uh, for example, quantum dot solar cell and disensitized solar cell and rubiscite solar cell. Make it clear. And uh, disensitized solar cell. Yes, this is my motivation. Uh, this map from uh, NREL, and as uh, we show here, the emerging photovoltaic uh, technology uh, there in orange uh, color, and uh, there is a lot of research and the efficiency of this emerging technology reached to uh, 70%. Make it. Also, I disensitized solar cell. Uh, the feature of a disensitized solar cell here, as we, sh we see here, uh, low energy manufacturing, and we can uh, make it in a variety of substrates and friendly of, uh, for environment and low high performance and inexpensive techniques. The structure of a disensitized solar cell in the next slide. The structure of a disensitized solar cell is contained from uh, four, uh, four main uh, structure elements, uh, transparent context, conducting electrode and counter electrode and semiconductor material and uh, disensitized and also electrolyte. In the next slide, the working principle of a disensitized solar cell uh, is dependent on uh, light harvesting and uh, when uh, solar radiation heats the dye, the dye uh, molecules, the electron transfer from homo to lumo, in, uh, showing this uh, slide, uh, step one. And the second, uh, this uh, photon, photo excites electron and the electron jump to conduction band of semiconductor 
and there is a lot of semiconductor like titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, and so on. And uh, this uh, semiconductor uh, passes this electron to a working electrode and uh, continues the escape. But uh, the drawback of this uh, semiconductor is the, the photon is uh, facing a recombination, high recombination. Uh, what we will do, we do modif modification of titanium dioxide by uh, engineering a band gap, and this engineering uh, by composite or by dubbing creation create uh, additional level, uh, lower band gap from a UV to a visible region. Uh, and this dubbing or uh, composite also acts as uh, electron hole trapping center and carrier agent for facilitate migration of a photon generate electron holes to the reaction site. Uh, in the next slide, I, I did, uh, I prepared titanium dioxide by two methods, soil gel method, and this is the, uh, what I flow, and this is the material, and this is the precursor, and this is the step. After that, I get the result. In the next slide, the structural characterization XRD device. In this device, uh, I get results from an XRD, and here, as we show in the next slide, uh, there is a morphic, morphic titanium dioxide, and I did a uh, treatment, yes, here. This is without any treating, uh, without any treating. Here, I, I treat with annealing temperature. I did uh, a lot of uh, different annealing temperature, ranging from uh, five, five, ranging for four types, and uh, the pattern was enhanced, as we shown here. Also, in the next slide, I follow the, I calculate the cell parameter also, and compare the annealing temperature. Yes, here, and I found that uh, in annealing temperature increase, the intensity also increase, and the uh, lattice connect and A and the C I obtained, and also did UV visible spectroscopy in the next slide. Yes, next. Yes, here I give you the visible spectroscopy uh, for uh, different annealing temperature, as we see in here in, the, in this figure, uh, the relation between a wavelength and an absorption. And this is a typical as the temperature review. And uh, this uh, is clear titanium dioxide. Uh, it has wavelength in a UV visible. Also, we calculate the energy band gap. Yes, here, calculating energy band gap. And we, uh, we think that uh, the energy band gap uh, decreases when the annealing temperature increases. Also, in the next slide, we did service morphology, scan electron microscopy results. And also, we found the uh, green particle size and this particle size in nanometer. Next, please. Yes, this morphology, service morphology. And also the next slide is... You have one service. minute left. Okay, also service morphology. Yes. Next, please. After that, I did, uh, I prepared titanium dioxide by different methods, by soil gel method, and get energy test directly. And after that, I uh, prepared uh, cover oxide. Go to next slide. Yes, next, next. Uh, 
show safety one please yes please yes one show the safety one slide your your time has elapsed the yes yes i i will show just yeah. two slides i will show you the two slides finish just one and yes 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 i'm here yeah your time has elapsed uh thank you very much for your for your presentation you will share your slide with uh the rest of the participants at a later stage. Um, we skipped uh, Dr. Pevega there. Um, he has highlighted that he's available. Um, can you share his presentation, the presentation? He just popped his message saying he's available. Pevega, Dr. Pevega. Can you raise your hand so that we are able to allow you in so that you can present? I think they're having connection problems because they disappeared again. They disappeared again. Mm. Okay. If oh, wait, the... No, 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 no. It's coming on? Uh, yes, okay, Dr. No, is... Veda, can you hear us? Yes, 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 yes. Um, answering questions on the chat, guys, there will be certificates of attendance at the end of the conference. There will be certificates of attendance at the end of the conference. Thank you. Dr. Pevega, the floor is yours. Uh, you, you can, can unmute share. Yourself. All right. Hopefully, you will be able to. Pepega, can you unmute your microphone? Oh. Dr. Pepega, I think he is, he's having connectivity challenges there. 